Last one to arrive wants me to know I'm not his boss. Okay, you're a star. I get the message. She thinks I'm late because I want her to know she's not my boss. What is she talking about? Put a lid on it, buddy. I'm begging you. Ooh, I can't believe I have butterflies in my stomach. Feels like the first day of school. Okay, so let's see how we did. Nobody wants to go first. Everyone's avoiding me. Except Nick Marshall. Unbelievable, the only one with good eye contact. At least he's looking at my eyes and not down my blouse. So, Nick, what'd you come up with? Me? Mm-hmm. What'd I come up with? <laughs> oh, he's so wired. Mostly, <clears throat> I thought about the moisturizing lipstick. Uh, never having worn lipstick myself. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to imagine what I'd want from a lipstick, you know, if I were a woman. Oh, spare me. Okay, he's trying to be honest. You know, to be perfectly honest, the uh, the first thing I thought of was a Tahitian beauty bathing under a waterfall. Oi, I'm gonna die here with these kinds of ideas. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working on it, um, and it's evolving. I don't suppose uh, anybody's interested in an idea involving the Swedish bikini team. I do know them all personally. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, jerk, grow up already. What a pig. You are so foul. I should have asked for more money. Excuse uh, me. <clears throat> Gina? Um, I spent the night trying to figure out how to sell Advil just to women. You know what? Oh, wait, we should sell it to women like me. <laughs> <laughs> I take it every time I need to fake a headache. Looks like a charm. I, I, I got a great one. Oh. Just came to me. Do you mind if I interrupt, Dina? No, sure. Go ahead. I hate that you've seen me naked. <laughs> All right. So we're in a bedroom, the lights are out, there's a woman in bed and she's taking an Advil. Her husband turns over and suggestively rubs her back and we say, Advil, so mild and gentle, you can take it even when you're faking a headache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the woman turns to her husband and she says, oh, not tonight, dear, I need an Advil. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's back. <laughs> What? I, come on, that doesn't reach women on a personal level. No. Well, women do that, don't they? Not me. No, I don't. No? Sue Cranston. Hmm? You've done that, haven't you? I mean, faked a headache to, you know. No, Nick, I haven't. Thanks for asking. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Be honest now. I mean, you've been married, what, 10, 12 years? And you've never, in all that time, faked a headache. It doesn't work like a charm. No, Nick, I haven't. I mean, no, it doesn't, okay? Jeez. What an asshole. Okay, I guess I'm way off base here. Okay, um, what's good about your idea is that you're looking at Advil from a woman's point of view. Um, I don't think Advil will go for it, and I'm pretty sure every woman in America will hate it. Uh. Other than that, I thought it was great. So you're on the right track. Hang in there. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Great antenna there, babe. The uh, poodle give you that one? 